Yo, what's up? It's Ping Pong Po, and today's tutorial is on the double voice. So, the double voice was popularized by Shogo in his 2017 Asia Beatbox Championship wildcard, and that video went on to get uh, hundreds of thousands of views, and a lot of people became inspired by that video and they were determined to learn the sound and use it in their own beats so i have to shout out shogo because he obviously popularized the sound mudkip because he was one of the original uh people to do it because like he did it before shogo made it popular and uh, also rock you because rock you is the originator um him and mudkip made it approximately around the same time but i believe that rock you made it before the uh before mudkip so anyways shout out to all of them they're all insane beatboxers i'll leave a link to a humanbeatbox.com uh, article on the on the sound the double voice if you would like to learn more about like, the, the history about the sound and such and for me this sound took a really long time so don't be stressed out if it doesn't you don't get in like 10 minutes uh it took me approximately a year to learn the sound so yeah okay now how to do the sound uh the double voice is done outward in all all in falsetto so what i'm speaking in is like just a regular voice and falsetto is like uh if you if you voice crack when you go to the higher one so like uh, uh, that uh, that's that's uh the sound that you're gonna be using for this now firstly as a prerequisite i personally think that you should learn the alexino uh polyphonic voice which sounds like this um by learning the polyphonic voice uh you're doing two um two falsetto tones at the same time so it's so it's a higher one and a slightly lower one so again this is all outward and if you don't already know the sound again go ahead and check out the link in the description for alexino's tutorial on the polyphonic voice now to take that sound the polyphonic voice and turn it into uh, what you need to do is first you need to be able to to voice crack and that's very simple i think many people already know how to do this but and it's basically going from low to high so you're resting i think it's resting voice correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section but resting to falsetto so uh, 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 simple and so you apply this concept in the falsetto and when you but when you do it you're gonna want to move your throat up so practice uh doing the regular voice crack by moving your throat up when you go up so uh, 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 uh. and so when you do this you apply this while doing the polyphonic voice it sounds like and if you so what you're doing is you're starting at the low one so there's two you start at the low one and then that's the that's the first one and then you're you're doing that that motion that sort of like a hiccup you go you bring your throat up as your voice cracking like uh, 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 and it's pushing it up and you're going to the next one so you're starting at the first and you're going to the second so so yeah so and for a lot of you it may be inconsistent uh for me it definitely was i had it like i would not have it consistently and then out of the blue i'd have it for like a day and then it just go away the next day but so if you get if you do get it and it's like on and off and you have it on like whatever like if, you're, if once you get it for like that one day or whatever uh, i recommend doing it like a bunch because you just keep doing it and you get the muscle memory and then you just remember how to do it so you can do it the next time because that's what i did and it really helped me a lot because like i would 
I wouldn't get it and I would get it and I wouldn't get it and I wouldn't really work on it like like all the time you know it would just be kind of like it's on the side but uh one day I got it and I just kept doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it until I got it okay and then the next day I could still actually do it so that way I could build progress and pro and like progress it uh and like I personally didn't learn this sound until just recently until uh right before the American beatbox championship uh I learned I learned the sound in about October and it is currently February so it took me about uh four five months to like really kind of get down but when you first get it it'll be kind of hard to control the pitches but uh you should be able to just get it over time that's about it and that kind of wraps it up if you guys have any questions uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll try my best to help you out leave a comment what should i do tutorials on like what kind of sounds would you guys like to learn and that that about wraps up this video and i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time